Okay, today we are going to talk about how to record a video of yourself. Let's say you have an assignment and you have to record a video and turn it in of yourself making some kind of a presentation. So I'm going to show you my favorite uh, free recording software that I use. I would go to screencastomatic.com. You can just type that into whatever browser you use. And uh, this this is free. I have a paid account, which isn't very expensive, but you don't need one. You can do this for free. So when you get to this uh, this recorder, this website, what you would do, you could get an account if you want, or you could do this. You don't need to, though. You could just record for free. You would just click right here. Okay, so when you get to the screen, then you would click Launch Free Recorder right there. And then you'll get a loading message. It's not the fastest load in the world for sure, but it's it's pretty good. After you do this a few times, um, it it loads a lot quicker. I use it all the time on, on my account. It loads really quickly. Okay, so there you go. And what I usually use for the vast majority of my videos is I use the screen recorder and I just record the screen. And that's, that's pretty easy. Um, but let's say you have an assignment where you have to record yourself on the camera. So first you'll need some kind of a camera. Or if this is on your phone, I guess you could use the camera on your phone. Um, but I, with this, I'm using a, a desktop PC. So I would go to webcam. I do have a webcam installed on my computer. Notice it's picking up my voice there. If it's not picking up your voice, I'm using an, an external microphone. Your computer might have a microphone or your camera probably has a microphone too. But I, if you don't have this set up, you could go in here and select the microphone. And I'm the default microphone is the one that I have plugged in. But if you have other microphones, uh, you, you can select those. I, I use one that I plug in just because it tends to be a higher quality. And we'll stop there. Okay. So I have the computer audio turned off when I record so that when I record, I don't get any other weird, weird sounds. But you you could turn this on too. like if you were going to have music playing on a video on your computer or something, you could you could do that as well. OK, so but let's say that you would need to record yourself making a speech or something. So I clicked webcam. Then there I am speaking into my microphone. And um, so when I'm ready to go what I would just do is click record. And I would record this video. Three, two, one. There you go. And then this is my test video I'm recording here for this course. And uh, I'm going to make this speech and record it. And when I'm done, I'm just going to click pause. And then I'm going to click done. Then what I would do, you could edit the video if you want. That's pretty easy to do as well. Or you could just save it and upload. If you edit, you can do all kinds of neat things. There's the sound of the video down here. You could add images to it if you would like. There's just some more complicated things. Uh, I could bring in this right here, for example, if I would want to. I brought an image in and I could say this image right here will show up on the screen telling you my name and and then I, I could say well I'd like it to go for this long it will go for four seconds or I could I could stretch this out that's going to go longer and I'll have it right there but I will say on this I want it to fade in and out so I could say in type fade and then out that's already set for a fade and then done and okay this is just some basic editing there's all kinds of things you could do if you want to test it out you could uh, take this back and play I'll take this all the way back here so that image fades in there as I'm talking there then it fades out there's all kinds of neat little things you can do but let's just say we're done with editing then what I would do is save it as a file and what you could do here, you could set up the, the folder right here. I would click the folder I want to save it in. Then I would browse. This is my, here's my video folders here. And I could just create a new, 
a new folder for test video. Now that's in the folder name there and for the file name I'll just say screencast video demo. And then I'll click publish and then this can take a while. This was a very short video so it's going to um, load very quickly. Then I'll click done here. And now they're now it's trying to pitch me to buy this, but uh, <laughs> which I don't I don't I I already have an account with them. But if you're using this for free, you won't you won't need to to have a uh, you don't won't need to pay or anything. And if I go to my folders, then the video. Okay, it's on test video. Here's the video right here. I could open this up. And there's my video right there. You see that fade in and out? And this is an MP4, which is a really good file type to use. You can upload this to YouTube very easily, then you could get a link to it. And then I, I, what I would do is, is, is bring up, create an account in YouTube and load this in there. And then it would be very easy for me to have a, a link to the video there that I could upload into a course pretty easily. Um, you could, when you put the video into YouTube, you could make it an unlisted video. So it wouldn't actually be on YouTube. Uh, it would, it would just be, you would have a link. Whoever had the link could watch it. Um, but that's, that's one way. That's how you would use Screencast-O-Matic to, to do this. I think Screencast-O-Matic is the simplest of the different database uh, recorders or the, the computer recorders to record. It's simple, it's free, it's very easy. So that is how you do it. That's probably the simplest method of doing this.